Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am staying at home. It's a home chill vlog today, um, but I wanted to share with you something really exciting. Um, I got paid by Instagram, like what? Or Facebook, I should say. I got like a notification. It wasn't like a notification. I was actually just ch checking the dashboard because like with like Facebook and Instagram reels, it's basically like, you've made like $5, I'm like, okay, or like 50 cents. So um, I never really like check, but today I was like checking and it was like payout on February 18th. And I was like, what? So I go and like check the bonus reel things and I actually did get paid. I don't know if you're allowed to share the exact amount. I will give you like a rough estimate of like it was over a hundred dollars, which I know like in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot, a lot, but it's a lot for like posting stupid, I don't know, videos online. Kind of like this one, kind of like the one you're watching. Um, but no, I think that's like crazy that like I was able to earn money. Like I feel like how I felt when I, got my first like hundred dollars from YouTube. Like it's almost, it's so crazy. So uh, I think I'm gonna still like try to make reels obviously, but my plan is I'm only gonna post ones that I really like and I think will do well on the platform. Like me and my mom, like we get a lot of views obviously here and on there. And like when I do like more vlog style content on Instagram, um, that one did well. Like the ones that I actually like put together and edit. Like the ones I take more time on, I'm probably going to post on Instagram. Um, and I still haven't like figured out how to, to share to reels or share to feed. Like I don't know which one's better. Cause like one time I did share to reels and my reel did like a lot better. And then when I shared a stupid video, like it was like two seconds. Then I only got like a hundred views on it, but it was kind of stupid. So like, I'm not saying that it should have gotten more traction cause it probably shouldn't have. But I think my game plan is like, if I'm proud of like a little dance I do, or if I think a TikTok is funny, I'll re-upload it to Instagram reels because that's cool. Like you can make money. Um, again, like, I know it's not a lot, but like, it's a lot for me. Like, I think that's crazy. I mean, I knew I had the monetization feature, but I didn't realize that like, I was actually gonna get paid. Like I was actually like really fed up with Instagram. So, and I still kind of am like, I really like TikTok as a platform and stuff, but like, I'm not making any money on it, which again, I do it for fun. Like I do this for fun. I'm so glad and happy that I get to do this for some side hustle money and like for some fun money because I buy some stupid shit. It's not like my main income. Like I'm not like solely relying on this as my income, which is a lot more pressure off of me. Like I wanted to make a whole video on that because I feel so like chill with this. And sometimes, you know, like if a video doesn't perform well, like yeah, it's frustrating frustrating. Um, but I will say the most frustrating thing is with Instagram getting 40 likes. Like, I don't know. It just, that was really what bothered me. Cause I know kind of like how to work the YouTube algorithm in some aspects. Um, so it's like, oh, I know, I already know that this video is like not going to do well. TikTok's also really frustrating too. I'm getting better because I'm trying to be more consistent. My friend has some good video ideas that like I'm kind of just taking her ideas because I don't know, TikTok's just really frustrating because I don't know how to work the algorithm, but I'm trying to just use like current music. Like if I'm on my For You page and I'm constantly hearing like one song, like I'm going to use that song because I want to get on people's For You pages. I know this clip is getting long, sorry, but I just wanted to tell you guys the good news and everything. Also, if you are not following me on TikTok, please follow me. It would mean the world to me. Um, I don't know how creators, I think you need like 10,000 followers on TikTok. That's another reason why I kind of just treat TikTok as like fun and I'm trying to gain an audience on there because like, I mean, I do think it's the way social media is kind of going, but it is just so hard. Like, I don't know how to crack the algorithm. I don't know what to do. And it's just like hard, but um, yeah, follow my TikTok. It's AlexJane underscore, just like all my other ones, um, other usernames. So that's what I'm like kind of trying to do. 
but Instagram Reels, thank you so much. I'll show you the video. It was the like, why do you take selfie fit pictures after a workout? And I was like, because I'm annoying. That one <laughs> literally got 150 views on Reels. It was so funny. Well, it barely, it didn't do that hot on my uh, TikTok either. It has like 100, but it's better than what I used to get. Cause what I used to get on these things, hold on, let me like scroll back. Oh, well like more of them have more views now, which is good. Oh, well like they're doing better. But I used to get like only 40 views on my reels. Well now they're all over like a hundred, which is like good, I guess. Okay, well I haven't like looked at these. I haven't deleted anything either. Okay, so they all have over a hundred, which is like better than I thought, but like, yeah. Um, this one like only has 50 views and it's like annoying. I kind of worked hard on that one. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna go work out now and um, then I'm gonna have lunch, shower, do my routine, and then we're gonna get packing because um, we're going away for the long weekend. Well, it's not really a long weekend, I just took off work. Um, but we're going away for Valerie's birthday, so that is going to be super fun. Get ready for those vlogs. They're gonna be so fun um, and exciting. We are going to stay at the cabin and everything. I'll tell you, I guess, more when I start packing for that, but Anyway, let's get on to working out. Today, I'm going to be doing the six pack killer workout um, and then best of hit training. And then this third one is a 10 minute yoga. I'm only doing half an hour because I really honestly didn't wanna work out today, but I'm like, it's fine, we'll work out. I'm also throwing away this bra once, uh, once I finish working out, like I'm not even gonna wash it or anything because like it is so, well, it's not like so old, but like here well, on one of the things, like it's kind of like not ripping, but the elastic is kind of like stretched out. And then the logo here is like, it's not peeling, but like when you stretch it out, it like is all cracked and stuff. And I have a lot more other bras to wear. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm definitely keeping these black leggings though. Um, this is my kick-ass set. I have a second bra like this, so, I mean, this is just, like, one that's kind of ratty, so. Um, yeah, let's get to working out. Again, sorry this clip is, like, so long. Oh, my gosh. And I'm just going to chill down on my lunch here. Chill. Kind of taking a later lunch today because I didn't get to start to working out until later. Okay, so kind of failed at vlogging today um, other than that other clip you saw, but I've been watching all day Inventing Anna. Okay, so I've been watching um, this like all day and the reason why is because I saw the um, story covered, well, Kendall Ray covered it and then Vanity Fair, I think, covered it and they made a Netflix series out of it obviously and I don't know I have some mixed opinions on Anna honestly like I think she's kind of like a genius and I can't believe so many people believed her so I mean kudos to her for like you know getting that far and stuff but um Valerie cooked dinner tonight I'll show you guys it's our um it's our steak meal and um then I'm going to pack so I can kind of like um complete this vlog because tomorrow morning I'll probably watch some of this. I don't think I'll finish it tonight, but then um, I'll edit this video and schedule it for Thursday. I did do something. I edited my Lululemon collection. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. But um, I did edit and upload and schedule that. And um, I was gonna edit this video tonight, but I think I'll be still binge watching this uh, series because it's so good. At first I was like, eh, about it. Cause it just like, I don't know. I think it started off kind of weird, but I'm like into the meat of things and all like the secrets coming out. And I'm like, yes, I don't even know what episode I'm on. I'm on episode five. Valerie. Yes. Hello. She is slaving away in the kitchen. I am slaving away. She is getting the meal off. So I'll show you guys. But other than that, not much to update. All right. So. Here's the gorgeous meal, like normal. Mushrooms are like my favorite. And then the mother's also got some um, onions on theirs. Yeah, mushroom and onion. And then we'll have 
Don't forget the asparagus that will be coming soon. Yes, yes. I probably will forget that, but we have asparagus coming. <laughs> okay, so it is currently almost midnight. Crazy, but... I am going to pack my stuff um, for Mallory's birthday weekend and I'm going to use my new like Fabletics backpack. I've actually never used this and I'm excited just because I've been wanting to use it and we haven't like really done anything where I'd like need to pack stuff. But this looks like so roomy and perfect for like overnight stays and stuff so I'm gonna pack this up. Guys, I'm on episode seven. I have two more episodes of the Inventing Anna um, series and like I'm obsessed with it. Okay, little mini review. I'm not gonna give any spoilers even though like the story's kind of old, but the reporter or like the person writing the story, I like her and I don't like her at the same time. Throughout the whole thing, I just get the feeling like she does not want to have a kid. At least like that time was just like not right for her. So that kind of annoyed me. But other than that, like I really like the story and like all the characters. Um, So tomorrow, like going, first of all, throughout the whole trip, I'm just going to wear my white sneakers because... I don't know, I just don't wanna pack like any other shoes really. So I'm just gonna wear those with like my socks. But going and being at home, I'm gonna wear this outfit. You guys know like I love this outfit. It is just this burgundy top and leggings. So I put that over there. On Saturday, we are going horseback riding. So I'm going to wear my Lululemon Align tank and, and also the same leggings. So that'll be an outfit for like horseback riding. It's gonna be probably pretty warm and I just wanna wear something comfortable. Got my underwear here, obviously. And then a pair pairs of socks. So after horseback riding, we are going to like shower and stuff and then go to Disney Springs for dinner. So I'm gonna wear this black top and these blue jeans. They're just kind of like mom jeans with like one little cut. My other jeans like got some horrible like stained grease on them and these are like the only other pairs I really like and have. I do have some from Luca and Gray, but they're like the ones you have to button up. And I'm too lazy to do that, so I barely wear those because of that. So that's my Saturday night dinner outfit. So this is my Monday night dinner outfit. I don't know, I'm getting all the days confused because I took a couple days off work um, for this. So like, yeah, I don't know. When I say Saturday, I really mean like Monday, if you know what I mean. So then on Tuesday morning, we're going to like a brunch at the boardwalk and I'm gonna wear my new dress. Um, yes, this is a little fancy, but I kind of want to get or try to get a cute picture at Disney's boardwalk in it. I think that'll be like pretty cute vibes. Um, I don't know. I just thought I would do that. And I'm gonna try to make some TikToks too, but like I know vlogging is probably gonna be like my main priority when it comes to like remembering to do things. So, uh, but yeah, this is Tuesday's outfit. And then we're kind of like just coming home. So that's pretty much it for the outfits. Um, so we have casual on Sunday, horseback riding and stuff, Saturday morning, dinner, Saturday night, or I should say Monday, and then brunch on Tuesday, which is gonna be really fun. So I am just going to pack up this stuff Funny, I still have the tag on this. The Luca and Gray tag. I think that's kind of funny. Um, they changed their logo. Ooh, so what I found out, so what's really cool about this backpack is the compartments. So there's like a little, oh, you can't really see anything, but there's a little compartment. You can see where my socks are. There's this little like hole here, which is like pretty cool, little pocket. Okay, so I do want to take my makeup, so I'm making sure to pack my beauty blender. It normally does not stay in the bag. Um, I have a little ice cream cone thing, but I'm going to pack my makeup. And then I'm packing my curling iron. Um, I might curl my hair before I go. I don't know. I kind of want my hair to be curled for the brunch photo, but I'm not sure. I think I might just curl my hair before we go tomorrow evening and then just have it like be curled for the rest of the time and not worry about it. So thinking about that right now, I probably will just keep that here cause I don't want to like pack a lot of stuff. And then obviously shower cap, always need that cause you know, 
sometimes I just don't wash my hair and that's fine. I just take dry shampoo and stuff and it's fine. Um, oh, that's something else I need to pack. And I'm just going to take this dry shampoo. I could take my travel size, but I'm just like trying to conserve that for just like work days and stuff. So I have my living proof dry shampoo. And I think that's about it for now because I still need my toothbrush for tomorrow morning and um, my loofahs for showering and stuff. So I probably will just pack that tomorrow morning. So I'll just film that tomorrow morning. Um, but I need to clear my bed off because I always have this issue of like, yeah, look at how much this fits a lot. Like I still have a lot more room in here. That's really convenient. I always have this issue of like, oh, when my laundry's done or like when I'm packing for stuff, I just lay it out on my bed and I'm like, oh, I'll get it later. And then I come into my bedroom and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all this stuff. So I have to like do something with it. So that's why I just decided to film this little section now and then finish up tomorrow morning because obviously I need my toothbrush and like my soap and all that stuff like for tomorrow. I think I am going to go to bed now because <laughs> it's a lot later than I thought. Uh, I would be getting into bed, but that docu-series, it's not a docu-series, it's more just like a Netflix series. It's so good. So I can't wait to finish it tomorrow. It's the next day and I just wanted to come on to kind of like finish the video. I put on this outfit. Don't worry, I'm not wearing my slippers. I'm going to be wearing my shoes, but haven't changed yet. I think I'm going to just curl my hair now and just see if the curls last throughout the trip um I just don't want to be like curling my hair and stuff like all the time so it actually looks pretty good straight and I was like contemplating on just like leaving it straight but I kind of just want to curl it just for fun but I have everything packed I got my pajamas my like loofahs everything in here I love that everything fits in here that's really convenient I'm also debating on whether or not taking my pillow I think I will but I, then again I don't want to forget it there so I might just actually leave it here, but I sleep so much better with my own pillow. But yeah, I'm going to get to curling my hair and let's see how it turns out. Fingers crossed that it turns out well. So I'm just going to use some heat protectant throughout my hair, just like on the ends because like I really only curl the ends and I just want to like make sure my hair kind of like stays healthy. I always try to remember to use heat protectant um, just because I don't know. My hair's been through like so much that there's been times that it's like been super, super unhealthy and I want to at least try, put effort into preserving my hair health. let my hair kind of like set um I would put like hairspray but I don't know I don't really feel like it I don't want like crusty hair so I'm gonna take her down I've done this like multiple times and like I just love the way it looks because it like gives me like all the volume which I really like and I get like compliments on my YouTube channel and like TikToks about my hair like this so I like doing it and I don't know it's just something different so it's something different than the ordinary big and puffy and I don't really mind it being this big because I know it'll like flatten out in like two seconds so I think that is going to be about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it yeah anyway give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.